This old was harassing, fat shaming, harassing, sexually abusing her deck backup dancers. They was playing the, the banana game or some shit. Like there was some some club or bar or strip club they go to where the stripper st- sticks the banana in the in the coochie. And Lizzo was shoving it down with her dancers' throats. <laughs> then was commenting, oh, you you gained a little weight. Commenting on the da- backup dancer, like the gained a little weight and stuff like that. You know what I mean? Like, if you get in that position, why would you act like that? That's the industry as a whole. You never seen making a band? But these assholes. You think you think any of them any different? Yeah, I don't know about that. You ever seen Missy Elliott show? She had a making a band style show. You ever seen how she treated them people? You watch a lot of Shine TV, man. This is old. <laughs> I, I'm this just saying. I never seen that. That's because I'm a real nigga. Get the fuck out of here. <laughs> I'm not one of these, you know, backwoods PA motherfuckers. You know what I'm saying? It's pure bread right here. Sticking a banana that uh, that came out a stripper's v- vagina into a dancer's mouth that doesn't want it. Like, no, no, no. Open your mouth. Open your mouth. Open your mouth. <laughs> you will eat this banana. That's not what happened. What happened? Then? They pressured her to touch the lady's boob. She stuck that banana down her throat. No, they didn't. What part of the story? Where'd you get that part of the story from? You just made that up. Yeah, because fuck Lizzo. <laughs> <laughs> Told you she was a shine. She up there tap dancing, played the white man's flute. Remember, this, the, they, they brought the, the, the white man's flute that had been for like 300 years. <laughs> well, the original slave master flutes, right? <laughs> Blow it, girl. She she took her big ass out there and blew that flute. <laughs> like a shine. Anybody else would be like, nah, I ain't playing that shit, man. Come on. I mean, the slave master lips is on this. <laughs> she, she stuck her lips right on that deal, didn't she? Listen, 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 listen. As far as the shenanigans uh, go for the strip club, I can't forgive that. There's nothing I can do. Forgive that. I can't. There's nothing I can do to protect that or make an argument for that. That is absolute abhorrent behavior. I was more so talking about the fat shaming. She what? The fat shaming. The I think it was Lizzo's manager or agent or or no, I think head of dancers oh, yeah. or some shit like that. Somebody on her staff was the one that was doing the fat shaming. I just didn't understand how you fat shaming on a Lizzo tour. That didn't make no sense to me because I, I could have sworn all Lizzo dance is supposed to be big. So I'm like, or or maybe it's more like a, you know how you, you hit the horse to make the horse go faster? Maybe that's like, you know, they were dancing and doing their routine. They said they locked these girls in there for like 15 hours to go over rehearsal. Otherwise, they're going to be fired. Y'all gonna get in here and learn these steps. They was like Joe Jackson. Then also they locked the one girl in the room because the girl was recording the meeting. They wouldn't let her out the room until she deleted the recording of the meeting. Yeah. So it was a lot going on there. You know, it wasn't just one incident, you know, at the strip club like you was talking about. You know, there's a lot to unpack here. Um... As for locking somebody in a room imprisonment, that's pretty serious crime. Uh, I don't know what state this happened in or country or whatever, but that's a pretty serious crime. I do see Lizzo or somebody in the industry um, doing that, especially recording a meeting. Also, I would probably would ask for permission before recording a meeting, you know. But uh, if you decide to record a meeting, then um, yeah, that could be pretty ugly. Um, unless she was, you know, trying to get her James O'Keefe on. If you was trying to get your James O'Keefe on, then I can totally understand it, right? Well, she had to been wilding for somebody to say, I got to record this bitch, man. This fat bitch is talking crazy. She was AI for the apology? I mean, what else are you going to do? 
have somebody write it. You have somebody write it, they just go ahead and chat GPT write it. I'm getting on the camera myself, man. You said what? I get up on the podium. Get a big ass on the podium. <sighs> Look, y'all. I was just trying to, I might have pushed too hard. I just wanted to provide a decent show for my fans. This is no way indicative of my behavior or the person I am. I'm going to take some time off. This is what I tell her to do. I take some time off. She takes a year off, two years off. She go get that gastro surgery. She come back 180 pounds lighter. Get that surgery. Come back with a BBL. <laughs> t- tummy tuck. Boobs lifted. You know, niggas be like, oh, that's good. You know how niggas is, right? <laughs> go, like, oh, shit. You know what I'm saying? She do that, she come right back. I swear to God. Only you would think of the niggatry in this situation. <laughs> because I'm the realest nigga on the show. <laughs> Lizzo need to hire you as her PR. <laughs>